The language learning app Duolingo is celebrating a warm welcome on Wall Street. Investors have now valued the company way higher than what they thought. $6.5 billion in its debut. The shares surged nearly 40% past, blowing past the IPO price. The app became a household favorite during the pandemic, mainly because you can learn a language at your own time, at your own pace. Uh, the, as you see, it's now up 31%. I'll have some questions for the CEO about that in just a moment. But first, I hadn't heard of Duolingo. I'm highly sceptical of these apps that teach you to learn languages, so I tried it out. Yes! <laughs> My CSE grade four. They are in Paris. Um, Oh, look at that. Try again. Look at that. Paris. Paris. Correct. Ils sont à Paris. Un homme et un garçon. What? What? Un homme et un garçon. 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 What do I do? Tap what you hear. Oh, sorry, I thought what you just said. Un homme et un garçon. Un homme et un garçon. Yes! I have progressed from a homme et un garçon to... To mange un croissant. To mange un croissant. Luis Vaughan is the chief executive of Duolingo, joins me from the NASDAQ in New York. Congratulations, sir, on the IPO. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for having me. Excellent. Right. The, uh, first of all, the, the, the pop of the price. Um, did, you pri did your brokers price it correctly? <laughs> I mean, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, investors are, are going to do what investors are going to do. I think we've, we've, we've received very positive feedback in our roadshow uh, going on until now. Uh, I mean, you know, what we've heard from investors, the, the reason they like Duolingo so much, there's a few reasons. I mean, uh, they like the fact that our revenues have been more than doubling every year for the last <laughs> few years in a row. And they also like that we're the category leader in, in language learning. And language, is, uh, language learning is a, is a massive market in the world, $60 billion a year. And, and as the category leader of online language learning, I think investors just like that a lot. Well, it came along at the right time. I've decided I'm going to learn French for my 60th birthday next year. So, I, so when I was given this today, yeah, I, I'm having a go at it. And it is quite addictive. I mean, every time I got, seem to have five, ten minutes, I always end up sort of going on to the app. Um, you're not making any money out of me yet. But, but, I mean, how realistic is this? It's a great pastime on the subway or if you've got five minutes with a cup of tea. But is it going to help me actually really learn a language? It is. Uh, um, it, it's, you know, Duolingo is very effective. Actually, we did a study last year uh, to, to see how much people learn, and we found that um, when people fin finish what's, what's called uh, uh, Unit 5 of Duolingo, so that's about halfway down the French course, for example, since he's doing French, uh, they learn the equivalent of four university semesters of, of French classes. Um, and by the way, they do so in about half the time with Duolingo. And, and the reason Duolingo is effective is because we have, you know, we, it turns out we have, we have data from a ton of users. I mean, we have tens of millions of users and we have data from all of them and we use that to personalize how we teach to you. So the more you use Duolingo, the more it, it, it really finds out what you're good at and what you're bad at. It may find out that you're not very good at the past tense, for example, and it gives you more and more exercises for the past tense. And so, so that's, that's why it's, it's so effective and, and it can really be very effective. No, don't worry about the past tense. I'm having trouble with the past, future, and, the, and any tense. Um, look, it uses AI uh, and gamification, whatever that might be, techniques, um, which suggests you're ahead of the game. But isn't there an uh, isn't there an air about this that you've built a very good mouse trap, but somebody else could build a better one or get very close to yours, and therefore your customers. We'll try somewhere else. It's very ephemeral online apps. Uh, well, we hope it's not. I mean, there's, there's a, a number of things that are, the, the, you know, that that really uh, um, uh, keeps us ahead. One is we spend most of our effort, and in fact, for example, the proceeds that we're going to do for, that we're going to get from from this IPO, we spend most of our effort on research and development to try to make the app better and better to always stay ahead of the game. The other thing is we have this huge data moat. 
Um, we have so much data from our users, and we use that to improve how well we teach that it's hard to catch up with us because because we just we just uh, uh, you know we have, for example, we have uh, um, uh, you know every single day we have over 500 million exercises that are answered by our users, and we use that exactly right. to improve how well we teach. For example, we find out because we because we're seeing everything they're doing, we find out better and better so, ways to teach every language. So if I use this for what, 15 minutes a day for the next year? Oh, you're, you're already, is that not long enough? Well, it depends. I mean, it depends on how well you want to get to a language, you know, how well, how, how high of right. a level you want to get to a language in the language. You know, learning a language for you as, as an English speaker, learning French, if you want to get really, really to the point where, where, where you're, you're very good at it, it's a, you know, like what people call, prof, you know, kind of fluent, yeah. um, uh, it's probably going to take you three to five hundred hours. Um, so, for example, that would be about an hour a day for a year. Um, now, th if you use it less, you know, you, you learn less, but that doesn't right. mean it's useless. I mean, for example, you, you can get to a point where you can kind of get around in Paris. Right. If you use it probably for 15 minutes a day, give it, give it you know, nine months, uh, you, you can get around. Fine. Well, we'll have a we'll give it a go. And who knows, by the end of the next time we speak, I might even be able to do part of the interview in French, which would be an interesting thing if you don't speak French, but you get the idea. <laughs> that, that would be pretty fun. That would yeah. be pretty fun. But at least I can say at the moment, un tout mange croissant, which means we're <laughs> all eating croissants. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Congratulations on a successful IPO. I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much.